With the Masters just a couple of days away, it's time to run through my favorite outrights based on the odds at FanDuel Sportsbook. We're starting things off here at the top with Rory McIlroy. McIlroy is coming off a missed cut at the Valero Texas Open, but he has the distance to hang here. McIlroy ranks second in distance gain over the past 50 rounds, according to Fantasy National. McIlroy is also 17th around the green. His, his short game has been better recently than it has been in previous years. What's been lacking for Rory is actually the approach play. Rory, though, as we know, can be amazing with his second shot. So if he regains that at Augusta, I think there's a pretty good shot that we see McElroy finally pull out the career grand slam and get his green jacket. In a similar range, I'm looking at Brooks Kepka at 19 to 1. Shocker, Brooks, Major, you know what to think here for sure, but Kepka has shown upside recently. Over his past six events, here are his finishes. Fifth, 12th, cut, 16th, cut, and third over those past six events. For an outright, a cut is the exact same as a top five finish, effectively, as long as it's not a win. We just want to focus on the upside, and Kepka has had that for sure. He's had the key components you need for upside, just hasn't put everything together in one event just yet. But Kepka is showing upside here and is in good form. He's actually in better form now than he was in entering the 2019 Masters, where he wound up finishing second. So Brooks Kepka showing enough to me right now to have faith in him turning things on at Augusta. Finally, just a bit longer, I want to turn to Patrick Cantlay at 22 to 1, because we've seen Cantlay dip a bit recently, which is why his odds here are longer at 22 to one, but he still ranks sixth in Data Golf's True Strokes Gain Query over the past six months. Cantlay, most of the struggles have been due to poor approach play, but similar to McElroy, we know that Cantlay is very good there in the long run and has still had some spikes recently. Cantlay did finish top 10 at the Masters back in 2019, so he does have upside at Augusta. He's got the distance, he's got the approach play, he's got the short game. I think Cantlay is still golfing too well right now to ignore at 22 to one. Those are my three favorite outrights for this week at Augusta, but good luck to you and the bets you make. Go win some cash and enjoy what should be some awesome golf.